when one was down, one was invited to share one's sorrows and weep in front of this vision of kindness and sympathy. Because Kant appreciated the role that architecture had once played in bolstering the claims of traditional religion, he proposed the construction of a network of secular churches, or as he called them, temples for humanity. He suggested that each one be paid for by a banker, whose bust would appear above the door in recognition of his generosity. Rather than resenting bankers, Kant thought it was wiser to coax them into supporting good causes. Inside the temples of humanity there would be lectures, singing, celebrations and public discussions, while around the walls sumptuous works of art would commemorate the greatest moments and finest men and women of history. Finally, above the west-facing stage, there would be a large aphorism written in golden letters, invoking the congregation to adopt the essence of Kant's philosophical religious worldview. His statement, connais-toi pour t'améliorer, know yourself to improve yourself. Coax. Coax. Coax.